Hi everyone, welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this lecture, we are going to see how to deploy an application into Cloud Hub. Okay. In order to deploy an application, first we need to create Mule project. Okay. So my Mule project is already ready and it is it is deployed into my local. Let me test it. Okay, this is my local URL. Okay, local host 8081 and welcome. Okay, now we are able to see this message. Okay, welcome to VITech. Here I am learning Minsoft. Now the same thing I want to deploy into Cloud Hub. So this will run on only my machine. Okay, not in the internet. Okay, now we are going to see how to deploy this into Cloud Hub. In order to deploy into Cloud Hub, first we need to, first we need to generate jar file. Okay, normally the jar file will be available in target, okay, inside your project, target. In this target, you will be able to observe, okay. So this is my project, we take sample API. So here we have target folder, target folder. Just give right click here. Just give right click. Click on show in system explorer. Okay. Okay. This is my target folder. If you observe here, there is one jar file it is already generated there is one jar file it's already generated we need to deploy this jar file now what you can do is you can go to any point platform okay you can log in with your credentials okay so here we have an option called runtime manager runtime manager Now here you need to select which environment, which environment we need to deploy. Okay. So I have created already for a video, how to create an environments. Okay. You can go to my playlist and you can check for that. So now I want to deploy my application into either sandbox or QA or DevRegion. Okay. I want to deploy my application into DevRegion. Just click on this dev and click on the switch option. So here you can able to see deploy an application. Click on this. So here you need to provide your application name. Okay. So here, what is our application name? We take sample API. We take sample API. Just copy this one. Okay. Now, no need to change this one. Okay. Cloud Hub 2.4. That's fine. Click on this choose file. Click on this choose file. Click on upload file. Upload file. Now here you need to select your project path. I mean where the jar file is present. Go to D drive. Click on this workspace. Go to workspace one. Go to wait example API and click on this target. So here you will be able to see the jar file. Click on this jar file. Okay. So once it is done, once it is done, no need to change these options here. Okay. Runtime version 4.5.2, that is fine. A replica count, okay, it will be one. That is also fine. So replica size, okay. It's like 0 0.1 v core, okay it will give you the space for 1.2 GB memory. Okay, this is also fine because this is our sample application. Then click on this deploy application. Okay, click on this deploy application. So it is loading now, it is loading. Yeah. 
API was uploaded successfully and it is deploying. Okay. So here, if you go to dashboard, you can able to see the option called not running still it is applying the changes, applying the changes. Okay. So here the URL also generated now. Okay. Let's wait for to get it deploy. Let's wait for to get it deploy this application. So meanwhile, what we can do is you can go to logs, click on this logs, okay. Here you can able to see the logging information, okay. Where it is and how it is progressing. Still we can see this in a red color, okay. Red color, it should be an active and it should be in a green okay it should be in a green okay now it is running okay this means it is running now okay go to this logs go to this logs and here also you can observe okay the application started successfully the application started successfully okay it is started now okay successfully started so if you observe this one, V8 example API flow successfully started. Now we can go to dashboard, go to dashboard, copy this URL, okay? I'll copy this link, okay? Copy link address. Go to your Postman or Thunder client, okay? I'll go to Thunder client here. I'll take, see, now localhost 8081, this is for my local application okay the api it is de deployed in my local now we have deployed our, our application into cloud hub okay i'll create new request here mm -hmm. i'll keep it as welcome okay i'll keep it as dev so here we need to copy paste copy paste that URL, then after that, what is our resource path? Our resource path name is welcome, okay, welcome. Click on this send button, see? Here, if you observe, this is localhost 8081, welcome. Now, you will be able to see the Cloud Hub URL and the welcome, okay? So now it is giving the same results. Now it is giving the same results. So if you take this URL and you can run it in anywhere within the internet, okay? By using internet, you can run this application or run this API. Either you can use mobile or you can use laptop, okay? You will get the same result. You will get the same result. So this is how, this is how we can deploy our application into Cloud Hub. So now here you will be able to see the options, the graph options also. Okay, let me let me try for two or three times. Okay, let me change it to welcome D or something. You will get 404 not found. Let me click for two or three times. Okay, so that I'll be able to get some errors. Uh, let me hit for two or three times. Okay. Okay. Now, here I can able to see, okay. This is like errors, okay. At what time you have received an errors, okay. At what time we have received an errors. And this is for success, okay. Something like this. There are graphs also it is available. Graphs also it is available, okay. Here you will be able to see the graphs for your application it's like monitoring the application so if you go to logs if you go to logs see so whenever you are going to trigger something okay if i trigger something over here see inside sample api okay inside sample api so the logger which we have added so that is added successfully here. that is added successfully okay yeah, 
that's it for this video thanks for watching this happy learning